Hello! Hello everyone! Alright, welcome to my channel. How you guys been? Hopefully you guys are doing great. Those are my best wishes for you guys. Have a great 2021 and enjoy it. Let's see what we got for you today. We have a 143 scale Lancia or Lancia, however you want to say it, Apia Giardinetta. Again, by the way, this is a 1959 model. Giardinetta in Italian is probably means like a brake or station wagon or variant or however you want to call it. To me, it's more like a station wagon. Now, this is a three-door station wagon. It's not too common. Usually, people do not buy a three-door station wagon because you kind of lose the point. You want to, when people buy a station wagon, they want to more or less get a handy station wagon that you could, you don't have to move your seats to sit in the second row. But, again, that's just my thought and nobody else's. <laughs> Okay, by the way, this is like the second generation because the original Lancia Alpia came out in 1953. So this is the second generation, which is from 1959 to 1963. And you know, Lancia, this is a Lancia, which was more or less like the mid-size for them, I would say. It, it reminds me a lot of the Fiat 1100 I have to say it's just it from the front to here it looks exactly like almost not exactly but like an 85 percent it gives me a fiat look so I'm thinking more or less they must have grabbed well you know Lancia and Fiat have always been connected they're both Italian and Fiat now owns it, Lancia. I'm not sure if they own Lancia back in 59, but um, they really look alike. And you know, Fiat's always been like the big brother of all these Italian companies in Euro in in Italy. So I'm thinking, you know, this is part of the group. <laughs> but it's a beautiful little station wagon. I have to admit it. You know, all that chrome, you know, one thing I cannot complain about the 50s and 60s and even the 70s, they love their chrome, chrome in the hood, I mean, the, in the, yeah, even in the hood, look at this one, it has the chrome trim in the hood, the wipers, the muffler, the hubcaps or the wheels all together, around the headlights, you know, when you want to see Chrome, you get chrome everywhere. You didn't have to pay extra price to get that chrome. In these cars, you got them regardless. Even the door handle. Chrome everywhere. Chrome everywhere. But it's a nice little looking station wagon. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I like, especially the front part. I like the front more than the back. I'm not sure how popular they were. I don't think they were sold in many, many countries. Because I don't remember seeing them, actually. i never seen them in person. The Lancia Apia, I don't think i ever seen. No, I'm wrong. i seen one in person, but not the Giardinetta. Not the station wagon. I saw the sedan. I saw the sedan once. I also have, by the way, I also have the first generation. I also have that in the sedan. So I'm well equipped. I'm well equipped with the... Lancia models <laughs> and this is a true Italian boy even instead of gasoline they eat spaghetti no I'm just kidding just kidding just kidding guys do not put spaghetti on the gas tank please do not <laughs> your car will leave you stranded in the middle of nowhere and you don't want to remember that car I like the turning signals right there this car and true Italian license plate the little black 
license plate in the front and that square big one in the back. It screams Italy, Italia. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to let it go around so you can have a nice look at the car and enjoy it. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think about this car. Do you like it? Is it your type of collectible? Do you like these classic Italian cars? Have you ever drove one of these Lancias? I would love to hear your experiences. Do you see them on the road? Maybe in a classic car show you might see one of these. It, it should be interesting to hear people's stories on these cars. You know, you don't see many of them nowadays. Hopefully, the few that are left around the world, wherever they are, they're being taken care of. They're being restored. Please do not junk them. They're classics. You don't want to destroy these classics. They will not make them again. <laughs> These are, hopefully there's a nice museum that has a few of these around the world. All right, everyone. So stay safe. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And that beautiful little bell next to the subscribe button will remind you when I'm posting more videos. So don't forget, we'll see you on my next video which should be coming very very shortly stay safe everyone very very important especially nowadays stay safe take care of yourselves goodbye